since 2002. We have created excellence together. Welcome to Ring of Honor Wrestling. Honor is real.
definitely a vibe in the air. As Kyle O'Reilly gets set, what a main event this is going to be. This is your television main event. It is Super One Ball. Introducing first to be accompanied by Bobby Fish. Let's go to St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing 207 pounds. He's representing the Red Dragon and is a co holder of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship, Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly talked about breaking the arm of Samoa Joe. Steve, are you, you okay? I mean, I could get. I can go through this if you want. I'm glad you're back, though. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm all right. I'm trying to digest it all and put it all together, but all right. I got a job to do. Let's yeah, focus on this. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be great. Edge, of course, with Joe and the size, he's got it all. But Kyle O'Reilly with his submission style against the Samoan submission machine, something to keep an eye on. Todd Sinclair is our referee, and we will have adherence to the code of honor. All right, fans. Come on, O'Reilly! We gotta take a qu quick commercial break. We'll get started. The bell will sound. We'll be back with Samoa Joe and Kyle O'Reilly when we return. And here we go, we're back, our main event, Samoa Joe, back in the Ring of Honor competition for the first time since 2008 against one half of Red Dragon, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Kyle O'Reilly. What are you looking for out of Samoa Joe? What's the first thing that you want to see out of him? I want to see the old Samoa Joe, the, the guy that took it to Kibashi, the guy that won the ROH World Championship in dominating fashion and held it for so long. I want to see old Joe, and I think we will. This guy's been training hard. Happy to be back. And he knows there's a new crop of talent in Ring of Honor that he, he wants to face one-on-one, -on -one, Kyle O'Reilly being the first. Riley said his focus will be the arm of Joe. Kevin, in two weeks, we're going to get to see Supercard of Honor showcase Samoa Joe and Jay Briscoe for the World Championship. Now think about what Samoa Joe going to do here this week as then he heads into the Supercard of Honor against Jay Briscoe. 
As dominant a world champion as Jay Briscoe has been, I don't think it would shock anybody if Samoa Joe is able to defeat him and regain the Ring of Honor world title. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, he's the most dominant champion ever in the history of Ring of Honor. 13 years that this company has been around. Joe, still to this day, most dominant world champion ever. And really, he's the measuring stick by which all Ring of Honor champions are measured. And you always hear from, uh, especially when a uh, man wins the ROH World Championship, Samoa Joe and Nigel McGuinness are the two names you always hear because they are two of the best that held the championship. But the, the measuring stick is Samoa Joe. And Kyle O'Reilly now with his first time. There you go. Second time attempting the rear naked choke. Oh my goodness. Joe so deceptively fast for his size. No coming straight, straight in. Very uh, UWFI style. Ooh. Love it. That was a no-nonsense wrestling promotion back in the mid-90s. Bobby Fish, using his word. Oh, look at the way Samoa Joe's shoulder just jammed into the floor. Todd's got to get these guys back into the ring. Trying to break the arm here. Anything he can to lengthen the five count. Now back in the ring. And what would it mean for Kyle O'Reilly to defeat Samoa Joe in his first match back in Ring of Honor? I think that's the plan. Kyle O'Reilly is not intimidated by the least by Samoa Joe. Taking those hard shots. O'Reilly follows in behind. Watch this now. Again, mm. shoulder first. But not just the shoulder, bicep, tricep. Pulling on it. Come on, Kyle. Dig in. Dig in. Pressure on Joe's shoulder now. Also the left elbow. Hey, hey, hey. 
tricep. To the arm again. Look at the way Samoa Joe changes. Changes everything about this match in the blink of an eye. Changes gears. We talk about Roderick Strong all the time changing gears. Ooh! Take that tent on. That's what I like to call it. Two. Oh, no. Explosion from the hips on a power slam. The speed of Samoa Joe is not talked about enough. Trapping the left arm of Kyle O'Reilly. But he still has to pull with not just the right, but he's got to pull with the left arm. You can see the contusions across the left tricep of Samoa Joe, but it may not matter. Can O'Reilly force a rope break? And he did by hooking his foot on the bottom rope that forces Samoa Joe to break the submission hold. Got some damage, though. Yeah. So, Steve, will your points about the effects of the damage done to Samoa Joe's left arm affect what he wants to do right here, right now? It could. Because he'd be letting that leg go, and you can see right into the guillotine zone. He's got the hold hook. O'Reilly's game plan has worked. It sure did. And right into the arm. Back right to the arm. Bobby Fish screaming to call for the bell. Fujiwara arm bar. Now he's pulling on it. Ooh. This has got to be it. Joe luckily gets through the robes. Bobby Fish yelling at anybody right now. He knows what this match would mean to Kyle O'Reilly. Joe to the outside. Good move here. He's got a 20 on the outside. Watch out, here comes Kyle! Drop kick to the floor! Right, right to the arm! It sure was! And then the other arm hit the rail! Kyle O'Reilly is a thinking man's wrestler. His game plan has been spot on since the bell. Oh! He is gonna tap out Samoa Joe. Brainbuster! Brainbuster cover two! No. And watch this. And he got him. Joe luckily got his hands clenched. By doing that, neutralizing the effect of the cross arm breaker, but now puts himself in position. No. Joe rolls Roll through. through back again. Bobby let go of that bottom rope. Joe goes, or Kyle goes after the right arm, but luckily his foot's in the ropes. He didn't tap at all, Bobby. Bobby Adam hit about Joe tapping. You got to wait for the referee to tell him to call for the bell. Come on. What a great main event we got this week. Next week's main event, AJ Styles versus Mark Briscoe in two weeks. Supercard of Honor Showcase. Oh, I just can't wait. Oh, what a great time for Ring of Honor, yeah, man. Yeah, the best is yet to come. Ooh, take that. Oh, 
O'Reilly's got him. Wait a minute. Oh! Right to the temple. Nigel Style. Into the Izaguri. Wow, what a great match. These people here in Baltimore love it. Bobby Tish has been working almost as hard. Both men are down. Both men are down. Listen to the people, though, Bobby. They love it. I know you care about Pyle, and he's done a great job so far. Kevin, if I'm scoring this match, I'm definitely going with Kyle ahead on points. He might have the edge at this point. You're right. Like I said, his game plan has been perfect. Charges. Taking out the garbage. Hangs on to him, though. Strong knees. Here we go. Is he going to be able to hold him up? Go oh, man! Up. That's it! One, two, he got him! Who went out of the match? Samoa Joe! What a great main event, Samoa Joe! Back in Ring of Honor, back on the winning ways. Man, what? Fans, you just got another treat of another great main event here on Ring of Honor Television. Two warriors went to battle. Oh, man. The echoes of Ring of Honor legends throughout the years. But now Samoa Joe back live and in living color in a Ring of Honor ring. And in two weeks, he could be the next Ring of Honor world champion. It's the most dominant world champion today against the dominant world champion that put this company on the map. Ladies and gentlemen, the following bout is scheduled for one fall. It is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. It is your Super Card of Honor main event. Introducing first to my right, the challenger. He stands in at six feet tall and weighed in tonight at 300 even pounds. He is the longest reigning Ring of Honor World Champion in history. From Huntington Beach, California, he is the Samoan submission machine, Samoa. And 
his opponent to my left. He stands in at six feet, one inches tall, and weighed in tonight at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Sandy Fork, Delaware, he is the current reigning and defending Ring of Honor World Champion, Jay. To the tail of the tape. Big weight edge for Samoa Joe. Weight in tonight, Adam Cole, 30 pounds heavier than he was billed. Will that weight edge work to the challenger's favor? I think any advantage that a guy like Samoa Joe has will certainly work in his favor. Samoa Joe is one of the baddest men on the planet, one of the baddest men to ever enter Ring of Honor in its history. He's really going to put Jay Briscoe to the test tonight. And how ironic that years later, now the roles are reversed. Jay Briscoe as the dominant world champion, still for the richest prize in sports, and that's the Ring of Honor World Championship. And Adam Cole, as, as I know you're looking forward to coming back, what would it mean to you as a challenger if Samoa Joe is the Ring of Honor World Champion after tonight? It would mean redemption for me because obviously a lot of people are questioning if I still have what it takes, but the reality is they were getting a 70% Adam Cole because I was hurt, because I was injured. When I come back, you're gonna get a 100% Adam Cole, and testing myself against a man like Samoa Joe, well, that would just prove all my worth and all my redemption. A lot of what we'll see from Samoa Joe here in this, of course, the, rear, the build to the rear naked choke, and also to the muscle buster. So whether it is a ground-based attack or if he can get Jay Briscoe vulnerable on the top rope. Those are the two keys to victory for Samoa Joe. What are, what are Jay Briscoe's keys to victory, Adam? Well, I think his biggest key to victory is the fact that Jay Briscoe hasn't been pinned or made to submit in over two years. However, Every streak in sports does and will come to an end. And Samoa Joe, he's a, he's a heck of a test for the champion. Straight on forearm, then an uppercut forearm. Forearm smashes now from Jay Briscoe on the challenge, on the challenger Samoa Joe. Out of the way, Briscoe, drop kick. Samoa Joe down, but pops right back up with the Enziguri. Briscoe with the drop kick response. You know, it's almost apropos, Adam Cole, that this match this weekend, this venue, it almost works with Ring of Honor's roots and tradition, what it's all about. Well, this is pro wrestling in its most raw, pure form. When it comes to, when it comes down to it, when push comes to shove, Ring of Honor has always been about the in-ring competition. And these are two of the baddest men on the planet going at it right now. Vicious uppercut forearm there from Jay Briscoe. Trying to suplex Samoa Joe. 
I think it's safe to say Jay Briscoe is going to need to do a little more work if he wants to take Joe off his feet that way. 70 pound advantage on the side of the challenger tonight, but. And there it is. When Samoa Joe returned to Ring of Honor at the 13th anniversary event, he made it clear. Pro wrestling is in his blood, it's in his soul, it's in his DNA. He's everything that embodies professional wrestling. And Ring of Honor is everything that represents who Samoa Joe is. And it was the perfect time for his return. And when he got face to face at him with Jay Briscoe at the conclusion of the 13th anniversary event, it was a really special moment. Samoa Joe has come full circle, but in order for that to really manifest and become something, Samoa Joe needs to become Ring of Honor World Champion tonight by beating Jay Briscoe and ending that over two year winning streak. So I know, of course, it, it's tough because of the bitter rivalry that exists, but if Briscoe is victorious here tonight, what does this mean for the legacy of Jay Briscoe as world champion. Well, as much as I hate to say it, and I hate to admit it, if Jay Briscoe can beat Samoa Joe tonight, I think it goes without saying that Jay Briscoe, I'll say it, Jay Briscoe is the mo most dominant Ring of Honor world champion in history if he does this tonight. Well, we'll see what happens. Samoa Joe crashed into that top, or into that rope there, as you can see, and he's having some difficulty, but. Not too much issue because he was just able to crack Jay Briscoe in the face. And again, for that weight we were talking about, for Samoa Joe to be as agile as he is, is just a testament to the kind of athlete this guy is. Back to some of those ripping jabs. Oh. Champion crumbles to the mat. The challenger looks good. The confidence building for the challenger, Samoa Joe. That knee bothering him yeah, still. Yeah, you could see it. Even modified it there. Samoa Joe normally follows up with a knee, Kevin, but instead Samoa Joe hit a leg drop. So clearly his knee's bothering him more even than he's letting on. Just as Briscoe stands up, Joe is there to try to knock him back down, but Briscoe comes back with some shots of his own. everything that Samoa Joe does. He doesn't waste a lot of energy, doesn't waste a lot of motion. Very compact, short strikes. Just as Briscoe was going to the top, Samoa Joe knocks him down. Joe could be going for a high risk maneuver here. into Briscoe. 300 pound challenger. And not only that, Kevin, but you saw Jay Briscoe's head and his back area go flying back into that steel barricade. That's painful for anybody. Adam Cole and Kevin Kelly calling this world title match. Jay Briscoe defending against Samoa Joe. Joe's feeling it. Oh! Throws a chair right into the face of Samoa Joe. Todd Sinclair, I'm sure, thinking about something that could ordinarily bring about a disqualification, but with the world title on the line, so much at stake, we've said it before, 
The referees are going to let them play through. I was just going to say that, Kevin. You've got to be lenient, not only with a Ring of Honor World Championship matchup, but with a match of this magnitude. Two guys like Jay Briscoe and Samoa Joe going to war. Thrown into the barricade. In the ring to break any count. But now, down the line. Legs swept out from underneath him. Oh, no. Oh my God! Samoa Joe needs to get the champion back in the ring. He's in full advantage, probably the most advantage he's been in the entire matchup. This could be a difference maker. Returning to Ring of Honor for the first time since 2008, Samoa Joe stands poised to regain the title that he made, that he brought to legendary status, and at the same time, end a two-year streak of not being pinned by Jay Briscoe. I know I'm supposed to give an unbiased opinion because I'm here to do a job on commentary, but I can't help but tell you I'm enjoying the hell out of Samoa Joe pounding on Jay Briscoe. We welcome those opinions, Adam. You don't have to hold back. You can say whatever is on your mind. And I'm gonna do and say whatever I want, Kevin, so you can quit crying. Samoa Joe in the driver's seat right now. This for Samoa Joe is so much more than, than beating his opponent and then really pounding him into the ground. This for Joe is a confidence booster because when Samoa Joe is confident, when Samoa Joe is on, there are very few better. Cover to Briscoe kicks out. Just enough to break the count. Joe still favoring that right knee. Tweaked it early in the match. Now those big knees to the midsection of Jay Briscoe and those jabs. Briscoe is wide open right now. Wide open for being jabbed. Maybe muscle buster? One of the two keys to victory for Samoa Joe. Yep, he's going for it. Briscoe realizing what is at stake here. Muscle buster, Briscoe able to counter out of it. Neck breaker for the champion. And I've been on the receiving end of that, and that is not fun for somebody's neck. Now it's Briscoe with jabs. Joe needs to try to get his hands up here. No, no, Jay Briscoe can't pick up the big man. Leaves himself open, elbow strikes. Super kick. Suplex leg hook to no. You're not going to be able to put down the longest reigning Ring of Honor world champion that easy. But Jay Briscoe 
has not been pinned or forced to submit in over two years. Something that Samoa Joe never was, and that is a two-time Ring of Honor champion. That's what Jay Briscoe is. But Samoa Joe looks to accomplish that goal here tonight at Super Card of Honor. Can you stop reminding everybody of how quote-unquote great Jay Briscoe is, please, Kevin Kelly? We get it. We get it. You love Jay Briscoe. You love the Briscoe brothers. Do you know how much respect I have for you, Adam Cole, everything that you've done? Yeah, let's talk about me then. Make me sound great. Here comes Jay Briscoe, head of steam. Down goes Joe. Leg is hooked two. No. Somehow able to fight through Death Valley Driver. A cut across the bridge of Briscoe's nose. Two. No. Joe will not stay down. The effects of this championship match are evident on both champion and challenger. This is real gut check time, Kevin Kelly. And now, there's no way. Gonna try Jay Driller. Three hundred pound Joe tosses Frisco aside. Sweeps the legs. Inverted atomic drop. Here comes Joe Hedda Steep. Senton, maybe. Ooh! All the weight right on top of the champion. One, two, no! He may be a dumb redneck, but he's a tough dumb redneck. I'll give him that. Does he have enough? to escape the challenge of Samoa Joe here at Super Card of Honor. Huge power slam. Two, no. Both these guys have given pretty much everything they can and they cannot keep the other one down. Again, though, Joe wobbling with that knee. Yeah, that, that uh, right knee of Joe has been troublesome. He's tried to fight through it. Power bomb, shoulders are down, two, and look at the right step over. the submission. Look at the torque of the back on Jay Briscoe. There isn't anybody that will apply this Boston Crab variation the way Joe does into the STF. Beautiful switch over by Samoa Joe. He's got the champion right where he wants him, not even close to the ropes here. Now to a cross face. This is why they call him the Samoan submission machine, Kevin. Desperately trying to get the ropes. Oh. Able to barely get that right boot over the bottom rope to force a break. I don't know if that was ring awareness or desperation by Jay. Get a look there at Briscoe's right shoulder. As Joe pulled back on that right shoulder, trying to force Briscoe to tap out. This has been an amazing championship contest. 
Samoa Joe, Jay Briscoe, toe to toe for the world title. Both men are down. And the crowd letting champion and challenger know exactly how they feel. If people only knew the wear and tear that a Ring of Honor World Championship match takes on you, they'd have a whole new appreciation and understanding for what these two are going through. And now to see, as they both get back up on their feet, again they stand and trade blows, ripping jabs. Oh! Right in the sternum to Jay Briscoe. Can Samoa Joe close the deal? Jay needs to follow up. Muscle buster time. Joe in the driver's seat has the champion exactly where he wants a muscle buster. And that familiar chant echoing, Joe's gonna kill you. The fans have chanted it since he was champion. Briscoe fighting his way out. Sunset flip attempt. No, no, no way. Jay, he Whoa. did it, Jay Driller. I don't believe it. Blake is hooked. Two, three, he has done it. this victory here tonight at Super Card of Honor. How can anybody deny that Jay Briscoe is not the greatest Ring of Honor World Champion of all time?